In this video, I'll explain how to use the Angular change attribute. In Angular, you can act upon the change of an input text by looking at the change attribute. Here, for the change attribute, I've assigned it to basically an expression that says I want to increment the change count property by one. Now I could have very easily assigned uh, an, an actual uh, method to go here, but just to keep things simple, I just said change count equals change count plus one. So if we look at the component, we see there's a change count property and it's set to zero and that's the property I'm going to increase every time the text block changes. Uh, these properties are simply uh, for demonstration purposes. Let's just see how they work. So I'm going to load the page and here I have a text box. So if I type something in the text box, as soon as I tab out or click anywhere on the page, it's going to fire a change event on that text box. So it says I've made one change so far. And I can make another change, and it increments the change count. So every time I make any kind of change to the text box, no matter what the change is, the change count increases. Now keep in mind, it's not key up or key down. Here I'm typing and nothing is happening because there is an actual change to the text box. I haven't acted upon it yet. In fact, if I go back here and get rid of the change and then text out, I do see a change here, but if I get if I go like that, there's no change. So I can add text and then remove it, but as long as there's no change, there's no, the change event does, doesn't fire. As soon as there's an actual change to the text box, the change event fires. And that's because on the change event, we're watching the change attribute and we're saying, in this case, we want to increase the change count property by one. Again, you could definitely, this is a pretty simple way to go about it. You probably want to assign a method of the uh, component to this. But uh, the main thing to keep in mind is that you, if you want to act upon the change of a text input, you can look at the change attribute and then you can act upon it uh, in the browser like that. If you found this video helpful, you can subscribe to my channel by clicking the red subscribe button right under the video. You can also take a look at my blog where there are many articles and tutorials about web development. Thanks very much for watching.